tag friends, tag Katie. There we go. All right, ladies, I'm just making sure it's actually showing up on here before I start doing anything else. It looks like we are good. So I'm here if uh, anyone hops on. I really just, these cups have been needing epoxy. Honestly, they've been sitting here since this weekend waiting for me to get epoxy on them and I just hadn't done it. So I'm finally just knocking it out. It is what it is. It needs to get done. And so I'm doing it. Uh, so let's see if I can do this. Can I do it like this so you can do that? Look at my mess. Uh -huh. Lots of mess. All right. So I'm just going to just mix up some epoxy. So I heard somewhere earlier today that apparently you shouldn't actually put them in the same cup and then do it. I don't know if that's true. I have been doing that. I guess I shouldn't be, but I'm going to do it anyway. I should put gloves on first. They are somewhere behind me. We're not. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, Katie? I've been, like, doing it in the same cup and just, like, if one's 20, then the other's 40. But apparently you shouldn't do that because they fold into each other and so it's not really the same volume. Have you heard that? Because, yeah, I was kind of like, oops. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. But apparently it's not good. So I'm using this little tiny um, silicone cup. Well, it is what it is. It may not be as accurate, but it's going to work because I'm tired of wasting cups. And it has measurements on the side. So I'm just going to do it. Yeah, but isn't it still more accurate than like if you don't get everything out of the medicine cup? I'm also not sure how much I should be mixing for this, but I'm going to go 20 and 20, which is probably excessive. I'd rather have too much than not enough. I feel like my motto should be do as I say, not as I do, because doing this on carpet is probably not a wise choice either. glove on and then move the camera over before I start mixing and end up with epoxy all over my hands. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. Twist it, I guess is the best way to do it. Like, yeah, if it, as long as you're basically most of the way close, I think you're good enough. All right, bear with me with this camera. This is not the best place to be doing this. I'm gonna plug my heat gun into before my hands are covered in a box. <laughs> All right, now everything's plugged in. Okay, and I'm just going to um, just start mixing my epoxy. And so it starts out looking pretty clear and then it's going to get really like cloudy. 
and then you're going to mix it until it's clear again. Until it gets nice and clear again. Mine has lots and lots of bubbles in it right now. Katie's on to help answer some questions. She might see them before I do, depending on uh, the epoxy and if it's cooperating. But we're both happy to answer questions if anyone has any questions. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick, just to pop some bubbles so it's gonna get a little loud. Helps if you turn the uh, power strip on. Oh, now we're gonna have issues because they're going opposite directions. I don't like that. All right, I do not usually do two cups side by side like this, so this is going to be an experiment for me. I've never actually done it with two of them this close together, so we'll see what happens. Um, I probably should have them the other way because the sippy cup is smaller, but oh well. Um, I prefer for my cups to spin away from me. That's personal preference. Some people prefer that they spin towards them. I prefer that they spin away from me. So I'm just gonna hit on the motor so that it, usually if you can create enough resistance on the motor, it'll start to flip for you. But since it's not, I'm just gonna unplug it and plug it back in until it flips. That's, there we go. All right, now they're both going the same direction. That's just a personal, Frustration. If it doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. it. Just irks me. So I'm gonna do the green glittered sippy cup first because it's actually I'm gonna flip flop my turners because I want to do this one before glitter because I'll end up with glitter on my fingers. But I want to do the one that's further away first so that I don't um, have to reach over fresh epoxy. Again, on the do as I day, do do as I say, not as I do. There's um, epoxy all over this bookshelf, so it is what it is. Yeah, why do the brown first, Katie? Oh, see, I was gonna do the glitter first. Or yeah, the other first and then the glitter because I'll end up with glitter on my hands. So I was switching the sides. Yeah, we're on the same page. I just didn't want to have to reach over the fresh epoxy. Glitter also takes more epoxy. So I like to do the glitter last because I don't feel like I have to worry about saving any. And this brown one, this wood grain one, does already have a coat of epoxy on it underneath the decals. So this is a second coat on that. It's not going to take nearly as much epoxy. And then the glitter will be the first coat of epoxy. It was done with Mod Podge, so it's going to take a lot of it. Yeah, well, if you notice, I have the same shirt on in every one of these videos because it sits in the by my turners. And then uh, every time I open epoxy, I'd put it on <laughs> because I already got epoxy on this shirt. And so I don't care. Mm. 
Okay. This should be good. So I tend to work my top section first. Some people work their bottom section first. I don't think it matters. I work from the top and pull it down and use it to cover my bottom. I know, I go back and forth. I'm right-handed, but I do go back and forth and use both hands. It just depends. Wish me luck. <laughs> if you're somebody who is naturally left-handed, put your turners going the other direction. <laughs> Save yourself the hassle. I am going to hit this with some heat after I glitter the other one, so that's going to help it. And I'm also noticing that my football's not level. There we go. And I want to make sure I get some on the bottom because I do have a decal of my logo on the bottom. And that wood grain was done with the with both Tim Holtz's. I'm just not somebody who can function one-handed. Even if I only if I I did that one day, I put just a glove on my right and thought, well, this way I won't touch it with my left, and my left hand was completely covered in epoxy. So on this cup, this green glitter cup, I do have electrical tape on the top seam. So I will let it spin for like 30, 40 minutes. And then I will remember, maybe, somebody may have to send me a message and remind me, um, <laughs> to come pull the tape off. So remember that epoxy is self-leveling. So as it spins, it's trying to keep itself level. It's constantly going to keep moving until it's level. That's why we have to keep the cups moving until they're, it's cured. So you'll, if you let it spin and just not mess with it for a few minutes, you may see it start to like bubble at one edge and you'll sort of know that there's an excess down at that end and then you know to kind of work with it so as much as we all want to just keep like doing it until it's perfect sometimes you just have to let it spin and not touch it for a few minutes and see what it does Does anybody have any questions? Who else is on other than Katie? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller?
that green, when I step out of the light and that green glitter gets the light directly, that's really, really shimmery. It makes me very happy. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the glove off of my left hand, being very brave so that I can heat gun without covering my heat gun in epoxy, even though um, it gets wiped down because it has epoxy on it like every time I finish a cup. But <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that it's gonna keep me from getting epoxy on it. I'm gonna take the heat gun to both cups so it might get a little loud, um, just to kind of make sure there's not any spots, pop any bubbles that I'm seeing. Stuff like that. I keep getting bubbles pop up in the same place on the rim, but... So that's it. I mean, that's pretty quick. If you think we're less than 20 minutes in, we've epoxied both of them, and that included mixing the epoxy and getting all the turners flip-flopped and stuff. So I think I have a couple bubbles on that wood grain still right at the decal of the name. Yeah, I do. Megan, it has gone out in the mail, so you should have it any time now if you don't already. It went out the other day. So I just sort of sit here and watch it for a few minutes because I use it as an opportunity to see if the light catches any other spots to where I notice that there's a bubble or a extra glob or whatever. Sometimes the light sees it before you do and that light draws attention. 
So I go from different angles. So I'll look at it straight on. I'll come over to the side and look at it and watch it go a couple turns. I'm more worried about the wood grain in this case because it's that's its final coat, whereas the glitter is going to get a decal in another coat. So it's going to get sanded if there's some bubbles. But I'm definitely watching for where the light hits on that wood grain. If you guys can see where this light hits. I'm using that as a guide to see if there's any other bubbles. Rachel, you just got to come pick it up. It's sitting in my living room. Let's do it. So I do still have a little, actually I don't have nearly as much epoxy left over as I originally thought I was gonna end up with left over. Um, actually, I don't think that's even enough to do a mold. So I'm just gonna throw it on this cup since I don't think it's enough to do a mold. And you can see, I just like drizzled that on and it's already like started to level itself out in a couple turns. So I'll fiddle with it a little bit in some spots, but. Your first coat on top of glitter is always going to take the most epoxy because the glitter like sucks it up. Yes, yeah, so I've seen several posts in some groups recently with some people uh, concerned because the Amazon turners are no longer for sale. So if you guys see those, most of these groups don't allow us to sell, so that's fine. But if you guys want to make recommendations, I don't think they can stop you. But um, obviously check the group rules for each group before you say anything. But I will say this front one, yeah, this one in the front now, is the Amazon turner with, with some modifications, and I'm fine running it. The, I'll let it run with no concerns. So if you have it, I wouldn't feel like it's the end of the world. You've got to get rid of it. Use common sense. Know that the motors are going to get hot. That's the case on any of these turners that use this style motor. So the ones I make use it too. So just know they're going to get hot. And give yourself some room. Don't ever put your turner directly against something that's gonna have a problem if it gets hot. Those motors will get warm. Even your rotisserie motors will get warm. I have not. I know some people, I know Katie has an allergy to the epoxy. She gets a rash from it. Um, I don't notice an issue with mine. I will be completely honest. My twin two-year-olds are literally across the hall asleep. Um, I'm just up in a bedroom and I haven't had a problem. And I've been doing it in my dining room. I haven't had a problem. So I would obviously use it at your own risk. Um, there is a group out there that's called Epoxy is Not My Friend and they've got lots of information if you're concerned about it. Um, do your research, know what you're getting into and then make your own educated decision on if you want to use epoxy or not. 
So here's my little uh, trick of the day. If you ever get epoxy all over yourself or something, 91% alcohol. Helps if you've actually opened the bottle of alcohol. So even though I had gloves on, my hands are sticky from the epoxy from before or after and taking off the gloves. So I'll just soak the, it's just like a little makeup remover pad and use that to get all the sticky off of my hands. And it like dissolves it so you're not, your hands are no longer sticky and then they're dry. It works far better for me than just even washing my hands. The very first time I uh, determined it, I had used epoxy. I had a cup and the cup was coming off of the turner. This was before I had done the Amazon modifications. And um, my hands were covered because I had grabbed the cup just instinctively before I realized that it was really like still super wet. So I um, ended up putting the rubbing alcohol in my um, sink and soaking my hands. Yeah, wash your hands afterwards because the alcohol is drying, but it gets up everything. And if you have alcohol inks that you've done on your counter and you accidentally get a little out, not that I'm speaking from experience, um, it gets that off too. Oh, I was going to put some of this chunky on that sippy cup. Oh, yeah, but I'd rather go through the alcohol than some other choices because their alcohol's cheap. Should I put some uh, chunky on that sippy? You guys vote. Tell me if I should. I was going to do some silver and black chunkies on it. Alright, Rachel says do it. I'm doing it. This was the reason I originally hit the green at the back, was so that it wouldn't get on anything else. But that's okay. I don't think I'm even going to try and get the bottom because I don't think I can do it without getting it onto the wood grain cup behind it. Yeah, I know. I was hoping the mailman would beat me to, to this. But, um... That's why I ran downstairs when the mailman came thinking it was going to be my package, and it wasn't. Next one. Next one. That got kind of clumpy, but that's okay. I didn't get it on the bottom, but I don't think I could without getting it on the wood grain. That's okay. We'll end up with my decal on the bottom some anyway, too, so. It's probably on its way. I'm not kidding when I say the postman in our area, like, has no idea what he's doing. And he brings stuff in multiple stops a day. I was afraid if I blew on it, it was going to end up on the wood grain behind it. I could have put a cookie sheet between them, but I wasn't thinking. That's okay. My decal is going to go on the bottom anyway. Oh, 
Oh, that's the worst. Then you get like a post person that isn't your normal post person and then they're really clueless. In about 10 minutes. I'm going to give it a little bit longer and then I'll take that tape off of the uh, green one. And I used electrical tape because it's stretchy and you can get it more concise. And if you're using the little silicone cups and the little silicone stir sticks, just wipe those down with a little bit of alcohol once the epoxy dries. Let it dry, take out the chunks, and then rinse it in case you got anything else in it. I think it's the vinyl I used for the name. I used a funky silver, and I think that's what's catching the light right there and messing it up, but... I keep thinking I have bubbles on the name. Anyone else have any questions? Because otherwise we're just sitting here watching cups spin. Which I admit is mesmerizing, but... Oh, now he changed the date. I think it's down to just Katie on now. 33. I think it's too early to go ahead and take that tape off, probably, right? I'm going to be brave. I'm going to do it. I'm probably also going to end up with epoxy all over my hands from trying to do this, but. we go just to finish it off for good measure there we go we've removed it my dogs are barking again maybe my postman's back again I don't know someone's here I heard a door Just rinsing my hands off because I did get a little bit of epoxy on them. 
But if no one else has any other questions, I think we're going to call it because we're basically done. That's uh, epoxy, glitter. We let it spin and we removed the tape. So we've pretty much finished that one. Um, so I'm going to finish this up unless anyone has any other questions. I don't see any, so. Bye, guys. We'll see you later. I think Katie's going to go live this afternoon and do a cup also, so be sure to check that out.